my first memories of Jason um, are from when I was a kid uh, watching the Raiders play on Friday nights and um, watching Jason kick, obviously. And, um, you know, one of my first goals, I remember, you know, being, being in elementary school and um, I wanted to be the kicker for the Raiders. Um, and I think a lot of that probably had to do with, with watching Jason, how good he was in high school. Um, you know, fast forward um, to my playing days. Um, I actually ended up, I was a holder, um, and Jason had just come back from Catawba and was, was helping coach our, our special team some. And um, so I got to work with him then. I, I just remember Jason being somebody that, that you just trusted, um, just – you knew he was a good guy. Um, didn't have to be shown or said. You just you just kind of felt it and you knew it. And um, I remember watching him. You know, even even then, he still had some some goals and, and dreams of maybe going back and kicking. I remember watching him kick in the stadium some, and um, just a you know a booming foot, but a even bigger personality. Um, you know, and then uh, in 2008, I, I came on staff. By that time, he had been coaching at the high school for a while. Um, he was the JV head coach, I think, um, or became that that at some point. And I just remember, you know, when I when I coached with him, I say with him, I was on I was on the ninth grade staff, but I remember just watching him and how he dealt with players, and um, you know, he's very very firm. Um, you know, uh, very much had had a lot of discipline uh, on his teams and, and things like that, but. I think he was able to do that because guys understood, people, players understood how much he loved them, um, and you know that's that's something I've always tried to try to do myself. And so I just recognized, you know, that that special quality in him, um, and just kind of again watched how he dealt with players and and learned a lot from from him in in that sense. Um, and then you know his boys came through and um, watching you know them and. You know, I remember I was the, the ninth grade basketball coach when those guys both came through and played. I don't think either one of them actually played for me. We had we actually had two teams at that point. Um, and I remember watching them come through and you know, you just saw a different side of Jason. Um, he was so proud of those boys and you know, he, he was a dad. Uh, he wasn't, wasn't so much a, a coach. I mean, he still understood you know the role that that I and I think Coach Coach Milton Sweeney played at that point, as far as the coaches of, of the basketball team. He understood that role, but he was a dad. I mean, he he loved them. He cared. He 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 was proud of them. You know, he thought he thought they were um, they were the greatest thing in, on the basketball court, um, and that was that was cool to see. Um, still, always you know respectful to to Coach Sweeney and myself, but. Again, that was just cool to see a different side of him. And then, of course, you know, one of my, my favorite memories, I'm sure a lot of people are going to say this, is just watching him as those guys play varsity football, watching him every Friday night before Alex and Kevin's game, giving those guys a hug. Um, that was special. I know they're going to cherish that, but, you know, I, I do too. Um, and, you know, after he, he left Richmond, you know, I just remember – Jason just seeing him pop up from time to time. He still cared about what was going on in, in Richmond County and especially with the Raiders. Um, and I just remember, you know, he'd pop in from time to time. And Jason was just, uh, you know, you never knew when he was going to be there. And, and it was always just a breath of, of fresh air. Just, you know, you welcomed him on the practice field. It was, it was like you just felt good when, it, when he came around. And, you know, even after um, the cancer, you know, I remember him. He would he would stop by and and, and uh, you know, especially last year, I remember him bringing Ch uh, Jace to the practice field, and um, they would come and you know, uh, it, being the quarterbacks coach, you know, Jace wanted to come over and see what the quarterbacks were doing, and that's we kind of practiced right there at you know where where they would come into the, the practice facility. That's where the quarterbacks are, and so that's they always stopped there first. It seemed like or or very close after and. Jace always wanted to be there throwing, and Jace, I just wanted to tell you, buddy, you, you're welcome um, in my Indy any time, buddy. Um, and uh, so that's that's my memories of of Jason. I'm sure there's a lot more, but man, just what a special guy, and um, hard to believe he's gone. Um, but you know, there's so many memories, and, and, and so many people have benefited from his life that I, I think um, he he definitely left his mark and. Jason, we love you. The Norton family, we love you, and, and we're praying for you. And if there's anything we can do, um, we, we, and we will.
Love you guys.